Well, Frisbee golf seems like an innocent pastime in a city park, but a Manhattan Beach woman says it cost her one of her eyes, and she's suing. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo shows us what happened and how Manhattan Beach is responding. In an instant, my life changed. I got hit in the face. It was like getting hit in the face with a hammer. It wasn't a hammer, but the disc that hit Noreen Goodbody left her nearly blind in one eye. It's like looking through a shower curtain. Disfigured and confused. She wants to know why the city of Manhattan Beach would allow disc golf in a park. Now she's suing the city for negligence and six million dollars. And I was in a park and I didn't know there was a golf disc course there. In August of 2012, Goodbody was at Pollywog Park when she was hit. We didn't see any warning signs or gates letting patrons know they are on a disc golf course. In the game, players throw frisbee like discs into these metal baskets placed around the park. This type of course is not simply someone playing frisbee. It's someone playing with an object that's much more dangerous. If they're a dinner plate that weighs four times the amount of a golf ball. Neither the city nor its attorneys called us back, but in documents filed in the case, their lawyers call the risk posed by disc golf as, quote, minor. The city argues the person who hit Goodbody violated park rules, which state players must avoid throwing discs near park patrons. It also says in the nine years since the course opened, no one else has been seriously hurt. Players we spoke with believe the course is safe. I played about 25, 30 times. And I've never seen anybody be anything but courteous about it. You know? So you don't think it should be banned? Absolutely oh, no. not. Goodbody says damage to this tree and her eye prove otherwise. After four surgeries and tremendous pain, doctors tell her there's nothing more they can do. It could have been anyone, and I don't want this to happen to anybody else. In Manhattan Beach, Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.